The learning goal for today's lesson is understanding why the distance formula works. Now the distance formula, the reason we use it is in a linear equation, if we want to know the distance between two points, we can use our distance formula. Now, I'm going to talk you through why the distance formula works before we actually look at what the distance formula is. Now looking at our line, we want to know the distance between those two points. I'm going to call that distance C. Now, if I construct a right angle triangle by drawing straight down there and across here, and if I was to call this length A and this length B, that should start looking familiar to you. Pythagoras' theorem, which says that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I might just take Pythagoras' theorem one step further. If you want to know what C is, you can square root both sides. So that's going to look like C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now let's, using what information we've got from the past, let's try to figure out a formula for finding the length of A. Now you should remember when you were doing gradient, gradient was equal to rise over run, and then you did something to something along the lines of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now that y2 minus 1 was used to find that length, that rise. So we can use y2 minus y1 in our formula for A. Now that's going to be y2 minus y1 squared. Similarly, if we want to know this length, this length of B, we can use x2 minus x1. What we have here now is our distance formula. Our distance formula is y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. And then don't forget that square root at the top of all of that. If you just take those values and plug it into your formula, you should be able to find the distance between point A and point B. Uh, that's the distance formula, and I hope you have a better understanding of why it works. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to apply it.